So a number of people have asked me whether or not employee engagement is passe, and my answer is definitely not. I think that nowadays with um, the difficulty in staying competitive, so you've got um, organizations who um, might be able to copy your products, um, you've got customers who have really high expectations, more than ever you need the discretionary effort of your workforce. What is passe is how people are addressing engagement. And what do I mean by that? I think a lot of organizations have gotten to the point where they've realized that weighing the cow doesn't make it any heavier. And what they've been doing is for decades, they've been measuring engagement and communicating results, and that's about it. And what happens is nothing. You know, they, nothing happens, they don't get the benefit of a more engaged workforce, and they certainly don't see um, the impact on their bottom line. So the trend that we're seeing is to action. And how do you move the needle to actually create a culture of engagement, increase those um, engagement scores, and deliver benefits to the organization? I think there are three things that organizations need to focus on. One is to democratize responsibility for engagement. And what I mean by that is every member of the workforce needs to own a piece of the engagement equation. Everyone has a role and needs to understand their responsibilities, and that's the executives, the managers, and individual employees. Because it's very easy for us to say, oh, engagement, leaders need to make their employees engaged, and the reality is they can't make anyone engage. So individuals need to be able to take control of engagement, and managers and executives need to create the environment where that can happen. I think the second thing that organizations need to do is to really focus on action as opposed to action planning. And I'm not splitting hairs here. There's a difference between um, taking some ideas, a, a task force, an action plan, and, and saying to a manager, here, we need you to do this, in addition to everything else that you do. And what happens um, when a manager gets an action plan is, as well-intentioned as they are, it ends up on the shelf, it ends up not getting done, because it's separate from the work. And instead, if you have people focusing on action, it's all about what can we as a manager and a team do to take control of our engagement? And what can we do every day throughout the year to increase engagement for the team? Now, the third piece is really around measurement and gathering information. And if you think about how organizations manage businesses, no one looks at financial metrics every 18 months or every 12 months. And engagement data needs to be part of how the business is managed. So you need to try to gather the information more often than most organizations do. And you can do that with a pulse survey, you can do that with shorter surveys, so it's not so cumbersome. But you really want to have fresh data so that you can make good workforce decisions that will drive the strategies that you're trying to achieve.